Hey there everybody, it's Big Dave, and today I'm working on something a little bit different. This is a Halloween pumpkin magic wand. Uh, my wife works at a children's hospital and they got some of these toys in for Halloween. Uh, but this particular one does not work right. So I'm gonna get it open and show you what it does, or rather what it doesn't do. All right, so uh, as you can see, there's a little uh, button on the side. It's supposed to make the head spin and light up. You can actually see the LEDs sticking out of the head there, uh, but it's not doing anything. And uh, actually I realized when I pulled this out that the, the button was actually in the on position. So I think it was probably left on in the package uh, and the batteries ran out, but that's fine. You can see the neck under the head is actually <laughs> dislocated there. Uh, and uh, what that means is that the lights will come on, but the head will not spin like it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna disassemble this thing. It's pretty simple, just a few screws. Uh, we'll get inside here. I imagine it's not very complex and we'll see if we can't get that head back in place so that it can spin. So when I open it up, you can see here, uh, I'm gonna try and show you, there's actually one wire connected to a resistor uh, that is then not connected to anything. So that's probably something we're gonna have to fix as well. It took me a little bit of trying, but I finally got this globe to come apart so I could get at the head inside. Uh, now, it doesn't look like there's anything there broken. It's just that the head seems to have popped out of the neck hole. And so I can just push it right back in. It actually kind of clicked into place there um, and it's held pretty sturdy now. So that just leaves getting this detached wire and resistor back in place. It looks like it was just wrapped around a ground point and it had come loose. It wasn't actually soldered in place. So I'm just gonna wrap it back around like it originally was, making sure to get it firmly in place. Now I'm gonna test these batteries real quick uh, just to see if they are actually dead. So first we got 0 0.28, 0 0.27 volts there, uh, pretty much dead. Next we have 0 0.02, super dead. <laughs> and on the third one, we got 0 0.02 or yeah, 0.02 again. So those batteries are very dead. I'm gonna replace them real quick. And now after all that, you can see it's working perfectly. It's spinning like it's supposed to. We've got fresh batteries. We've got that wire in place where it's supposed to be. So now I'm just screwing it all back into place to hold it together. And we have ourselves a working Halloween toy. I'm gonna get this back in the box and give it back to my wife so she can get it back to the hospital. This is a pretty simple fix, but uh, something some people might find interesting, so I thought I'd film it. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. I am Big Dave, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.